Here we go, folks. RWA Hype Championship match. The Juice, JT Dunn, the champion, versus Mike Montero, Frank the Crank on commentary. Joins now by a much nicer co-host, Jammin' Jack Connor. Yeah, much nicer indeed, right? I mean, really, Rich Bass looking to get on everybody right now. Thank you very much for having me, Frank. These two competitors know each other very well. Last time they met, Mike Montero was the hype champion, and Dunn was the challenger. JT going for death by elbow early. Montero ready from that. Dunn's Dunn begun mentoring Montero. He's not giving him an easy time. No, He's no. making his work twice as hard simply because he believes Montero can achieve great things. Absolutely, and that's exactly why JT wanted to put the hype title on the line of this match. He wanted to make sure that Montero brought 100% A-game tonight. If he wants to get out of this rut that he's had since leaving the influence, JT's like, come and get it. you got to go through me. These two feeling each other out here a little bit in the beginning. Done since aligning himself with Chris Hero. Formed death by elbow. He's definitely elevated himself to new heights. Competing for Pro Wrestling Gorilla as well as TNA Impact Wrestling. Really makes you uh, wonder where exactly Montero's mind is at right now, especially because all of this stuff happened in uh, the time where Montero got this challenge from JT. JT debuting for TNA, going to PWG, wrestling the Young Bucks with Death by Elbow. I mean, JT's brought himself to even bigger heights, so this is an even bigger match than it was when the challenge was first issued. Absolutely. And continuing with those recent accolades, JT Dunn defeated Judge, Chamber Judge Chambers in a triple threat match. Last show to become the RWA hype champion. This being his first title defense. Looking for some offense in the corner, Montero moves. Montero showing he's not gonna get hit that easily. Montero with that elusive speed of his. Nice lock up into a headlock. Fighting for position. You know, Dunn's, Dunn's done a lot for Montero as his mentor. One of them being putting himself in a position to learn from Dave Cole, who originally trained and mentored JT Dunn. But Montero showing disrespect after his loss to Dave Cole, shoving him down to the mat. That's pretty much one of the other reasons why JT uh, challenged Montero to this match. Because obviously, JT is going to stick up for his mentor, Dave Cole. That's right. Drop down, leapfrog. Very nice. Oh, but Montero with a chop. JT to the outside. Wow. There's a little bit of that new attitude we've seen from Mike Montero. Uh oh, Montero looking to fly here. He hits him. Oh, jumps over the top rope. Tope Cone Hero over the top rope. See, that's why I'm glad you're here. I don't know the names of these moves, I'm not going to lie. When I was in the ring, I just basically hit, hit people <laughs> and threw them around. Yeah, no, I, I do not know the names of these flying maneuvers. Yeah, we're going to see a lot of that in this match. No doubt. Even though it's definitely going to be hard hitting too. Montero top rope going for the double stop, missing. Big boot caught. Ooh. That kick caught JT hard, sending him to the corner. He's out. Oh, we might be looking for that El Durte, the three-quarter oh. cutter. Into the cover. Kick out of two by Montero. Dunn definitely feels Montero disrespected Cole, and that offended him. And right now, looking to give Montero some tough love. Oh, yeah, no, you know he's definitely not going to give him an easy time. Oh, Ooh, there's some tough love right there. Shown right there, that hard knife edge chop. You got to give it to Montero, though. Montero does have a lot of heart, and it's still going to take a lot for him to keep him down. He has kicked out of death by elbow before in the past. Yes, he has. So even if JT does hit it, that might not necessarily be the end of the at match. That is true. Done in control now. Has Montero in some kind of uh, looked like he had him in a 
almost like an an iron claw type maneuver. Yeah, might have, might have had it by the nose there. Oh, and that quick jab. Oh, that quick jab. Montero gets the best of that exchange of strikes. Yeah, you can tell that really hurt JT's Ooh. hand. Quick kick into a cover. That's probably the only downside of JT throwing those really heavy strikes is the fact that it hurts him just as much as you can see. Having to check on his hand there, but JT just keeps coming with that flurry of strikes. Done in control once again. Oh! Continues the assault another. on Montero in the corner. Big knife edge chop. Looking oh, for another. Montero moves, delivers a chop of his own. Dunn says, I don't care. Oh. Tough love. You can go ahead and give him the receipt for that one. Wow. And, th and this is not the typical Mike Montero JT Dunn match we're used to seeing. You can definitely tell Dunn is trying to teach Montero a lesson here. Oh, absolutely. Lesson in the form of a beating. Oh, Montero trying to fight back. And that, wow. That form actually knocked JT out of the ring. It's Not exactly to be outdone, Montero delivering a stiff shot of his own. It's exactly what I mean. Montero just will not give up, and he will he will fight. Of course, he's not going to be as well known for his strikes as JT is, but he's still going to give it back to him. Huge headbutt by JT. These two now fighting on the outside. Oh no! Oh no! Looking no, for no, bicep no, no. on the outside. Oh my God! Good lord! Oh that! I, I that has happened to me before, and that is no fun. You could crush a man's vertebrae with a move like that. Montero definitely in a precarious position now. JT's still not done with him. What's this he's going for now? He's going to clothesline him back in the ring, maybe? Oh. Oh, well, there he goes. That's one way to get your opponent back in the ring. Done now, in control once again. Has oh. Montero in the corner, delivering brutal shots. Brutal. Brutal shots. I have never seen this look in JT's eyes in a match with Mike Montero before. JT's There's no doubt their relationship here has been taken to a different level. That high kick. Oh, he might be going for the suck it bomb here. Oh, Montero oh, he, with a counter. He counters. Kicks what a counter. Double knees. What a counter from Montero. Amazing counter. Oh, oh, that pump kick. I'm not sure if he got all of it, but he caught him just enough. Not just enough a two count jam and Jack Connery may have been right. He may not have caught all of it, but that was a devastating looking kick. You're talking about the look in JT's eyes and uh, something I wanted to bring up, the fact that JT was actually closer with his qualification there. He does still have to keep his emotions in check, even though he is fighting on behalf of his mentor, Dave Cole. Getting his Very respect, he's got to make sure. Because I know he doesn't want to lose this match by disqualification, even if he does keep that title. A very good point. Back elbow in the corner. Speaking of point, the point of the back elbow uh -huh. connects with Dunn's face. And now he hits him with that neck breaker. Montero now gaining control of this matchup. JT trying to slap some feeling back into him. Crowd getting solely behind the match now. Both men struggling to stay on their feet at the moment. Both men center of the ring. Dunn up first. Looks like he's missing oh. Montero. No! Montero missed the kick. Dunn has him up. Go to sleep. Countered. Oh my goodness, that kick to the inner thigh and then that kick right to the side of the head. JT going for it again. Countered nope. again. Wheelbarrow. Wheelbarrow. Picks him up, flips him Beautiful. over. Beautiful. Into a sliced bread. And that's gotta be it, folks. Oh! No. Barely managed Impressive to move by Montero. Reversing that wheelbarrow into a sliced bread. I thought he had done. 
Dunn somehow able to kick out. Both men trying to fight back to their feet again. Montero up first. Dunn just pushes him away. Cross body, Montero. caught. What's this? Oh, he might oh, be going he's got for it hooked again. again. Oh, wait, what's this now? Oh, oh my goodness. Reverse and Dunn Hurricane just Rana. dropped. It looked like Montero was going for the Hurricane Rana, but Dunn able to drop him on his head, and now you're not sure who got the worst of that. Oh! Montero, the one capitalizing, trying to get the pin, but still not enough. Oh, that was a scary landing for both those guys. Both men worse for wear after that exchange. And this is exactly, though, what JT wanted when he put the hype title on the line. He wanted Montero to bring his A game, and you know he's going to bring his A game Montero no matter what. Montero going to the top. Misses the splash. Done now, in control. JT got him right where he wants him. Deadlift oh. German suplex with the bridge. Oh, and a kick out. Unbelievable. Dunn able to capitalize after the missed splash. JT wondering what he's got to do now to put Montero away. Oh. Calls for the death by elbow. Seems pretty clear to me what he wants to do. But like I said. Montero ready for it, though. Kick to the midsection, kick up, another kick to the midsection. Oh! That quick elbow. And the elbow pad comes off. Uh-oh. That could spell doom for Montero. The teacher Montero. looking to deliver one more dose of tough love. Chop misses. Montero now fighting back with chops of his own. Hits the ropes. Leapfrog. Super oh. kick! Oh my goodness! Right to the side of the head. Has him hooked. What's this now? Picks him up from power bomb with the cover. One, two, and two count only. Mike Montero. I like that. It's always fun when you call a move in stereo. <laughs> That's true. You do like stereo. Haha. -ha. Yeah, definitely better than mono. And now both elbow pads off. Dunn was still looking to deliver that final dose of tough love called death by elbow. Trying to teach the lesson to the student and trying to maintain his hype title. And here he comes. Looks and he delivers he it. He it. it. And Montero like said, just is collapses. That gonna be it? Is that going to be it? I knew it. See, I knew it. I knew it. You cannot. I don't care. He caught that. all of that. Montero, there's no, there's no way he could have kicked out of that. I have no idea how Montero is able to kick out of that. It still amazes me every time he does it. I mean, Dunn connected fully with that death by elbow. But there's the never say die attitude from Montero. JT trying to compose himself now, trying to think of his next move. What does Dunn have left in the box of tricks? To try to put away Montero and to oh, keep his high title. Was out on his oh! Feet. oh my goodness! Brutal kick, spinning heel kick. Him up. Canadian destroyer countered. Oh, Wait, what's oh. this? Slips back in. Oh! Canadian destroyer! Oh my goodness! Dunn's out cold. Right on his Dunn's head. Dunn's out cold. We're gonna have a new hype One, champion. Two and no. Somehow Dunn able to kick out. That right there is the biggest move in Mike Montero's arsenal. And that wasn't enough to put JT down. So far, both these men have delivered their most devastating maneuvers. You got to wonder how much they have left in the tank. And now you got to wonder, is this matchup going to come down to one man making a mistake? Whoa, or one whoa, whoa, man... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait a second. Oh, what is going on Wait here? Wait a second. It's Mike Montero seriously going by death by elbow. This isn't his move, though. Dunn knows this move. This could be the mistake I was talking about. It might come down to one man's ego making a mistake in this match. It oh, connects. It connects. Death by elbow connects. Are you kidding me? Two. And a kick out. Oh, my goodness. 
Mike Montero with insult to injury, hitting him with his own finishing move. I didn't think it was possible, but Montero hit all of that and hit almost an even more devastating looking death by elbow. And Dunn was still able to kick out. Unbelievable. Now it's Montero. I don't think Dunn knows where he is, though. Oh, no, he's... Oh, yeah, Referee look at needs to check him. I, I he, don't know if this match will continue. Dunn doesn't know where he is. He's got a glazed look in his eye right now. He's running off of instinct right now. Kevin Quinn checking on Dunn. And Dunn Mon might be out of it. Montero not, give it, not, not giving any leeway, though. And the match will continue. Montero up on the second. Montero looking to finish him off. Crowd getting behind Montero. Looking for the suck at knees. JT counter. Oh. Spinning heel kick. Has him hooked. Oh, wait. The kiss. And oh, death by elbow, death elbow again. Elbow. That's, That's got to be it. One, two, three. And JT Dunn retains the hype championship. And what is one hell of a hype title match. So much at stake in this match. There was the personal issue of the teacher trying to teach a lesson to the student. After that match, I can only hope that everything's left in the past after that because these two just put everything on the table. They brought their best stuff. That was unbelievable. Not only was it the personal aspect, but JT Tun was also having to defend his newly attained hype title. And it looks like he accomplished both of his goals tonight. But take nothing away from Mike Montero. He made JT Dunn go to a new level to accomplish those goals. Montero, of course, slow to get up now.